Hey guys, how's it going? Heather Lind from Holy Fit here with your Holy Fit Daily Hit. So, a short workout you can do anywhere. Don't need any equipment for this. Doesn't take up very much space, so really there's no excuses at all. So, that's the whole point of this, so that you guys can fit in some physical activity every day. You don't have to think about what you need to do because I'm going to tell you what to do. All you have to do is do it and you'll feel awesome after doing it so why not do it <laughs> so make sure uh, if you are gonna do it that you warm up before you start uh, you've got to warm up for a good five to ten minutes make sure that body is warm and loose before you start taxing it it's very important so that you don't injure yourself and um, I'm just sharing this with a few groups. So it's going to take me a second to uh, set this up. So just bear with me. And uh, for those of you that know, I am getting ready for my very first ever figure competition. I am three weeks out, uh, which is really close. That means that my uh, diet is a little more strict. <laughs> Uh, I'm not starving by any means, but uh, definitely feeling a little low energy, my mood's a little off, but um, that's all part of the uh, leaning out process. You gotta cut a lot of stuff out if you wanna lean out, which is fine because I know it's temporary. Uh, this is not something I would wanna do long term, <laughs> but for three weeks I can suck it up. <laughs> So getting pretty excited, a little bit nervous, um, looking forward to having it done with, get that under my belt. It's something I wanted to do for a while and I'm finally going to do it. So I have a great coach that I'm working with, super supportive, really enjoying working with her. All right, so I think I've got everyone I want to post that to. Um, so the workout today, it's a bunch of um, AMRAP sets, which is as many rounds as possible. And you're gonna, there's gonna be three of them. So the first one is gonna be um, six minutes. Uh, this, the second one is going to be a seven minute. Um, this one, the seven minute one's gonna actually be every minute on the minute, um, which is, um, I'll explain that in a second. And then the third one is an eight minute AMRAP. So for the, as many rounds as possible, it's exactly what it is. So for six minutes for your first one, you're gonna get in as many rounds of the exercises as possible with proper form, of course. Um, for the every minute on the minute, you set your timer, that's a seven minute set, so you're gonna set your timer for seven minutes. At the start of the minute, you start the exercises. And then um, once you finish them, you get a break, but then you gotta start again at the start of the next minute. So that means, um, say it takes you 30 seconds to do the, all the exercises, you get a 30 second break before you start again. If it takes you a full minute to do all the exercises, you don't get a break. So that's how the every minute on, a min on the minute works. And then the last is gonna be an eight minute, um, as many rounds as possible. So I'm gonna show you the exercises. We've got a few to get through. I'm gonna leave my sweater on because one thing with this dieting, I am cold. <laughs> I'm always cold now. Even with the heat crank, I'm shivering. <laughs> so your first one, six minutes, as many rounds as possible. So you've done your warm up, you're good to go. You're gonna start with 24 reverse lunges. So you're gonna go one, two, all the way up to 24. Make sure with your reverse lunges, you're taking a big enough step back that the front knee is staying over the heel. You press through the heel, squeeze your butt, so you're not feeling that in your knees. So you do 24 of those, then you come onto your back, 22 dead bugs. So one, two, three, all the way up to 22, and then 20 mountain climbers. One, two, three, all the way up to 20, okay? You can do it a little more bouncy if you want to. You can also do your mountain climbers from your knees if you prefer. All right, so those ones, this is as many rounds as possible, so you're gonna get through as many as you can in six minutes. Um, keep count, note it down, that way you can do it again at a later date to see how much you've improved. So once you've finished that, take a little break, catch your breath, uh, take about you know a minute to two minutes, maybe three minutes if you need it, and then you're gonna move on to your seven minute, every minute on the minute. So you 
you set your timer for seven minutes. At the start of the minute, you're gonna come into a high plank. It's called a renegade row. So you're gonna do eight on one side, then do eight on the other side, keeping your abs nice and tight. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can grab a hand weight and use that. You can do that from your knees if you prefer. After that, you're gonna do eight push-ups. So push-ups can be done from your toes or from your knees. Make sure your hands are lined up with your chest, a little wider than shoulder width apart. Squeeze your chest as you push up, keep your abs tight. Then you're gonna come on up and you're gonna do four squat jumps. So squat down, jump up, make sure you're landing soft. When you land, stick your butt out, look for that chair behind you so that the weight's going through your heels, you're not feeling that in your knees. So you do those exercises, you see how much time you have left before the next minute starts, and you've got that amount of rest. Make sure you keep your feet moving because your heart rate's gonna be up. So you do that for seven minutes. Then you take another break, and when you're ready to go, you're gonna do your last set, which is an eight minute, um, as many rounds as possible. You're gonna do, this is all ab work, you're gonna do 15 toe touches. So your feet are up in the air, you're gonna reach out, try to touch your toes, support your head with one hand if need to, 15 of those, followed by 20 bicycles. That's gonna be one, two, up to 20. Then you're gonna go 25 crunches, supporting your head, keep your chin off your chest. If you start to feel your neck, press your head into your hands. And then you're gonna do 30 reverse crunches, bringing the knees towards your chest, toes back down to the floor. If that full range of motion is too much, bring the knees in, come back to about 90 degrees. So 30 of those. So then you do as many rounds as you can in eight minutes. And uh, keep track, note it down so that you can repeat it and uh, see what your improvements are. So that's the workout. It's a good one. It's a good Monday workout. Um, even if you just do part of it, that's awesome. So any physical activity is better than none. Um, make sure after you're done, you do your stretches. So hamstring stretch, grab above or below your knee. Gently pull that leg towards you, it has to stay straight, but bend, ease up on your stretch. Bottom leg could be bent or straight, whatever's more comfortable. Get both sides, 20 to 30 seconds minimum for your stretches. I'm gonna cross one ankle over, pull the bottom leg in, getting those glutes, getting both sides. And you're gonna roll over onto your side, grab your top ankle to stretch out the quadriceps. Remember 20 to 30 seconds minimum for your stretches. I'm just showing these really quickly so you can see how to do the stretches. Make sure you're holding them for longer than I am. Sitting up, soles your feet together, knees drop out to the side, good inner thigh stretch. If this is too intense, move your feet forward. Then sitting comfortably, one hand down on the ground, reach up and over, good side stretch, both sides. And then finally, clasp your hands behind your back or put them on the floor and press your chest forward to open up through the chest and the front of the shoulders. So that's it. Um, the actual workout is in the comments so that you don't have to write all that down. If you do it, leave a comment, let me know how it went. If you have any questions about it, feel free to message me and um, I can help you out with that. Have an awesome day, guys. See you soon.